Let's run a basic diagnostic on him. Diagnostic command. Accepted. Give him a moment. He needs to adjust to his new configuration. Voice module. Online. Audio functionality test. Initialized. Designation. Liberty Prime. Mark II. Mission. The liberation of Anchorage, Alaska. Primary targets. Any and all red Chinese invaders. Let me run a system analysis and battle readiness check. Liberty Prime. Full system analysis. All set. <laughs> sure we'd be able to pull it off, but Liberty Prime's looking pretty good. With him on our side, I don't see how the Institute even stands a chance. I couldn't agree with you more. Before you head off to your next assignment, I have something for you. I came up with this little beauty myself. I think it'll add a bit more punch to your power armor. It'll do, I suppose. Well, that's gratitude for you. Anyway, that's enough of that. You better hightail it up to the Pridwin. Elder Maxson said he needed to speak to you as soon as you were done here. And thank you, Knight. Without you, none of this would have been possible. Look, I'm really busy, and I'm not in the mood for talking. Is there anything you wish to tell me, Knight? Not at all. I have nothing to hide. I find that very hard to believe. Proctor Quinlan completed the decryption of the data you retrieved from the Institute. A portion of his findings included a list of synths that went missing or escaped from their underground facility. After careful analysis of the information, we've discovered something. Unprecedented. Paladin Dance is a perfect match for one of the synths on that list. That's impossible. I'm afraid not. The evidence is quite damning. The data you brought back included a record of each subject's DNA. We keep the same information on file for all of our soldiers. Paladin Dance's DNA is a perfect match for a synth they called M797. To make matters worse, he's gone AWOL. Disappeared without a trace. His sudden absence simply reinforces our conclusion that M797 and Paladin Dance are one and the same. I'm finding it difficult to believe that he never confided in you, and then swore you to secrecy. 
You have to believe me. He never told me he was a synth. I suspect you're saying exactly what I want to hear, Knight. Do you wish to try again? Had he told me, it would have been my duty to report it immediately. Don't insult my intelligence. You fought side by side with Dance. I find it impossible to believe you're ignorant of his identity. Has it ever occurred to you that Dance might not be aware of his own identity? No, it had not. However, even if that were true, Dance still represents a clear and present danger to us all. Hmm. Your sincerity in this matter has been rather surprising. Apparently, I've misjudged you, which means I've decided to take you at your word. However, that doesn't absolve you of your duty. Dance is a synth. He represents everything we hate. A monstrosity of technology. Our mission in the Commonwealth is clear. The Institute and its creations need to be destroyed in order to preserve our future. Which leaves me facing the most difficult order I've ever given. I'm ordering you to hunt down Dance and execute him. I won't do it. Dance deserves a chance to explain himself. From where I'm standing, Dance isn't seeming like the guilty one here. You will do it. This is not up for judgment or debate. I'm giving you a direct order, Knight, and I expect you to follow it without question. Listen, I'm not blind to the fact that Dance was your mentor, and this isn't an easy burden to bear. But if we're to remain strong, we can't afford to make exceptions. Even when it means executing one of our own. Find Proctor Quinlan. He's been analyzing the data and should be able to provide you with a starting point. And Knight, there's a promotion for you riding on the results of these orders. So don't disappoint me. You're dismissed. Attention! Any soldiers who have not yet received a field assignment from Proctor Teagan should speak to him With at once. With the reconnoiter of the that Institute complete, we finally have first-hand knowledge about their facility. told you were coming. Sorry about this business with Dance. What do you know about this situation? While I was decrypting all of the data you acquired from within the Institute, I came across a list. It appears that the Institute keeps exemplary records where their synths are concerned, including logging those that were reported missing. As I was perusing this list, I came across an image of Dance under the heading M797. A quick DNA comparison with our own records told the rest of the tale. I'm certain this comes as quite a shock to you, Knight. I'm sorry. He'll be missed. Doubtful. I wouldn't miss a synth any sooner than I'd miss a transistor radio. I was merely sorry that you'd been duped. No matter. I've been poring over Dance's duty reports, and unfortunately, I haven't found any concrete information. As you're well aware, Dance had intimate knowledge of the Commonwealth, and I'm afraid he could be seeking refuge anywhere. I think our best approach would be to identify every location he's ever visited, and eliminate them as possibilities one by one. You may want to get comfortable. This could take quite a bit of... What the hell is this crap about Dance being a synth? I assume your outburst was a reference to some doubt regarding Dance's identity. I can assure you that my findings are quite accurate, Scribe. So he sets Dance up, and then you knock him down. Is that it? I don't like your tone, Halen. My tone? Who cares about protocol at a time like this? I can't believe that after everything Paladin Dance did for you, you're just gonna turn your back on him like this. 
There's obviously been a mistake, and we need to get to the bottom of it. Scribe Halen, you're addressing a senior officer, and you will show him the respect that he's due. Or so help me, I'll have you brought up on charges. Now, unless you're here with information that can assist us, I suggest you return to the police station immediately. Of course. My apologies, Proctor. I believe I have some information that's relevant to the search. Very well, then. Would you care to enlighten us? Or do we have to wait until you decide to grace us with your knowledge? Knight, if you'd accompany me to the flight deck, I'd like to show you the information I've compiled firsthand. I've stored the data on my Vertiberg gunship's computer. I'll take anything that gets me closer to finding Dance. Yes, sir. Proceed, Knight. I'll continue doing my research here. If you'll follow me, sir. person that disobeyed Captain Kells ended up swinging the rock stuff in Kimberly's hall from the outside. I understand how you must be feeling, brother. Man's betrayed us. Attention, Halbert Pilot to Station Epsilon. Halbert Pilot report to Station Epsilon. That is all. Scribe? Do you actually plan on killing Paladin Dance? I haven't decided yet. Well, before you do, I need you to listen to what I have to say. I've known Paladin Dance ever since I was an initiate. He trained me, showed me the ropes, and when I screwed up, he taught me to dust myself off and move on. He's earned my admiration, my respect, and my friendship. I don't care what Quinlan's report says. I don't care if he's a machine or not. He still dance. Get to the point. I'm trying. This is... difficult. Dance is the most selfless person I've ever met. I've watched him risk his own life based on nothing more than principle alone. That's why I'm asking you, not just as a member of the Brotherhood, but as a human being. Give him a chance. Let him tell his side of the story. If you're not convinced by what he says, or somehow he's become truly lost to us, then you do what you have to do. Now what Maxon's asking, it isn't just. All right, I'll hear him out. That's all that I ask. I'll just have to trust that when the time comes, you'll do the right thing. Before the Pribwin showed up, Dance had me identify a fallback point if we ever lost the police station. It was listening post Bravo, an old pre-war US military outpost on the northern frontier of the Commonwealth. It's isolated. And we're the only ones that knew about it. So, there's a good chance that's where he's headed. Just be careful. There's no telling what state of mind he's in right now. Or if he trusts any of us at all.
Hey there, friend. We're in some real trouble. Someone should make use of it. Attempt to play justice.
I'm not surprised Maxon sent you. He never liked to do the dirty work himself. I wish you would have told me the truth, Dance. I might have, if I'd known what I was. Until Quinlan got that list decoded, I thought synths were the enemy. I never expected to hear that I was one of them. If it wasn't for Halen, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So, what are your orders? Does Maxon even want me alive? No. But I don't know what to do. Seems obvious to me. Look, I'm not blind to the fact that this must be difficult for you. I wish Maxon had sent someone else. But that doesn't change a thing. I'm a synth, which means I need to be destroyed. If you disobey your orders, you're not only betraying Maxon, you're betraying the Brotherhood of Steel and everything it stands for. Synths can't be trusted. Machines were never meant to make their own decisions. They need to be controlled. Technology that's run amok is what brought the entire world to its knees, and humanity to the brink of extinction. I need to be the example, not the exception. The empathy that you're showing me? It's a human emotion. I appreciate what you're trying to do. But I've made my decision. I'm ready to accept the consequences of my true identity. Maxon's ordered you to execute me, and I'll be damned if I'm going to stand in your way. No. I won't do it, Dance. I can't believe you'd risk your life just to keep me alive. Why would you do that for me? I've already lost my family. I don't want to lose my friend. Well then, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I don't wish to debate this any longer. You've sworn an oath to destroy the Institute and every synth that you find. No exceptions. Consider this your greatest test, Knight. Do you have what it takes to get the job done? I prefer laser weapons myself.
Report, Knight. Have you handled the situation with Paladin Dance? He's no longer a threat to the Brotherhood. Well done. Of course. Dance's execution creates a missing link in our chain of command. That traitor held quite an important position with us. I'm certain that you'll make a fine replacement. His quarters and all his possessions are now yours. Including his personal suit of power armor. Congratulations, Paladin. I won't disappoint you, Elder. Had I even a single doubt in my mind, I wouldn't have awarded you the promotion. Just be aware that a Brotherhood Paladin is expected to be a symbol of integrity to our brothers and sisters. I trust you won't disappoint them. Or disappoint me. In any event, we still have the Institute to contend with, and a lot of work to do before we can begin our final assault. While the finishing touches are being put onto Liberty Prime, Captain Kells has identified a potential threat to our operations. Report to him immediately for your next assignment. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Death sequence initiated. Completion time, 14 minutes. Trying to minimize reactor jitter and adjusting the pressure rate. Ah, Paladin. Good. Now that the unfortunate matter regarding Dance has been settled, we can return to our primary mission. I'm ready, Captain. Good, because this mission demands your full attention. Now. Before we launch our attack on the Institute, we need to address another threat. The Railroad. They're a small but capable group that uses subterfuge and guerrilla tactics to harass their enemies. Our tactical analysis says they could possibly hamper or harm our operations, which is a risk I'm not willing to take. If we strike them now, we should be able to maximize the amount of damage we do to their organization. Hit them before they hit us? I like it. Precisely. Destroying the railroad hinges on completely eliminating their leadership. Otherwise, they'll simply regroup somewhere else. To that end, here's a list of the five targets we believe would cause a catastrophic failure in their chain of command. Consider it done. Thank you, Paladin. Now, before you depart, Proctor Ingram has additional orders for you to complete. Our sources tell us that the railroad has some sort of experimental or prototype robot in their headquarters. They're calling it the Predictive Analytic Machine, or PAM for short. <laughs> Cute, huh? They use the robot for complex strategic calculations that are much more efficient than anything we can generate here. If you could use this holotape to decrypt the security on PAM's terminal, it will force the unit to return to the Pridwin. I'm certain we could put PAM's computing power to good use. Otherwise, destroy it. We wouldn't want it to fall into the Institute's hands. I'll try to get it back here in one piece. Good. It'd be a hell of a waste if you didn't. I'm certain you'll do whatever it takes to complete the mission. When you're ready, proceed to the Old North Church and link up with our assault team. They'll provide demolition support and all the firepower you'll need to take the railroad down. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Try and get Pam back here in one piece, okay? Reactor at 100% efficiency. I have another assignment for you, Paladin. Virgil. Paladin? Virgil remains a threat. It's time we dealt with him. 
I'll take care of it, Captain. Thank you, Paladin. Dismissed. Proximity sensor's green. Getting a three-second payback. Geiger counter doing cartwheels too. Sent to kill you. What? Oh, oh God! Are you? Are you really going to go through with it? Tell me, why should I let you live? Look, I know I made mistakes, but I've changed. You helped me change. You've given me my life back, and now you want to take it away. There has to be another way. Why? Why don't you just tell them I'm dead? No one's going to come out here and check. Think about it. I'm human now. I can't even set foot outside this cave. What harm can I do to anyone from in here? All right. Thank you. Really. Thank you. Ugh, what the hell aroma is that? Report, Paladin. Have you dealt with Virgil? Target eliminated, Captain. Excellent. Well done, Paladin. For your service, allow me to offer you a new helm for your power armor. Wear it with pride. You've earned my respect, Paladin. Not many can say that. Carry on, brother. Ad Victorium.
killed it. Pam. Intruder countermeasures active. This unit is incapable of voice communication.
Pam. Factory reset mode enabled. Command mode available. Taking minimal casualties, Paladin.
making this monstrosity. to report right now. Captain well, Kells? It appears that the railroad won't be a hindrance to our future operations. Those sympathizers deserved exactly what they got. That they did. I'm also pleased you managed to secure Pam, rather than allow it to be destroyed. We are having it brought to the Pridwin, where it will be installed in Proctor Quinlan's office. It's an amazing piece of pre-war technology that should prove to be quite beneficial to us. Speaking of pre-war technology, Proctor Ingram is putting the final touches on Liberty Prime and requires your assistance. Congratulations on another successful mission, Paladin. Ad Victorium. Can't talk. I'll send for you if I need. Attention, all Brotherhood soldiers. If you have not yet received your Squire mentorship assignment, please come see me on the bridge. 
Repeat, if you have not received your mentorship assignment, please report to the bridge. That is all. You look like you've been through the... Ringer, Paladin. Say that I blame you. That was a hell of a business with dance. Can't even imagine having to look him in the face and pull the trigger. If we're going to defeat the Institute, we can't allow personal feelings to interfere with our mission. Spoken like a true disciple of Maxon. Anyway, we need to move on to more important things now. Like getting Liberty Prime off of life support. We've been feeding him power through the Pridwin's engines, but there isn't nearly enough juice to cold start his fusion reactor. That's why we need you to find us a beryllium agitator. And I'm betting you know right where to find it. Of course I do. I didn't become head of ship maintenance just because of my good looks, you know. Quinlan dug up some dirt on a company called Mass Fusion. They were a power utility company before the world went belly up. The CEO was some kind of an inventor. Dreamed up all sorts of nuclear power toys. The agitator was his crown jewel. Records show he was working on it in his lab at the top of their high-rise in the financial district. That's where we're headed. Hope you don't mind a little company, because I'm coming with you. Don't think we're in the kind of position to be able to turn away help against the Institute. It would be helpful if you tagged along. I knew you'd see it my way. Kells has a vertebrate on standby, waiting to drop us off on the roof of the Mass Fusion Tower. Grab whatever gear you need and meet me on the flight deck. But don't take too long. If the Institute finds out the Agitator's there, they'll do everything they can to keep it out of our hands.